good friend who um, we lost just recently, David Carradine, who once said, there are no failures in Hollywood, only people who quit too soon. Okay. And yes, thank you for that for, for David. Okay. So, that's it. Just one. Yeah, that's his love. <laughs> okay, now we confirm that. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just a question. Um, is there a genre or a character that you haven't played that you'd like to try something different? I always like to try to th do things differently. You know, for so many years, uh, I was typecast as a heavy, really stupid stuff. You know, just pointing guns in people's faces. And finally, about 1992, I just had it. And I said, you know what, if these guys can't figure out that I can do more than that, then I quit. And I just walked away. I needed to uh, make a living somehow. So because I had done a lot of home study in the area of psychology in order to build characters, uh, I started looking in that area and uh, found a place called the Hypnosis Motivation Institute. I uh, went there, met them, they met me, I took a test to prove that I wasn't nuts, and, uh, and I signed up, and like 17, 1800 hours later, I became a certified hypnotherapist. And, um, yeah. And then Quentin Tarantino called me one day, and I, mean, I don't know how the hell he got my phone number, but uh, when you're Quentin Tarantino, you know, it's like you're in the CIA. Okay, give me some phone number. Okay, yeah. Uh, and he said, yeah, I get it. You're not playing any more stupid heavies. Um, I, I've written a part as a judge for you, and you will play it, and no ifs, ends, or buts about it. So I wound up in Jackie Brown. And um, I, thank you. Jackie Brown thanks you. Quentin Tarantino thanks you. Um, and uh, that was kind of an affirmation for me that holding out is okay. And uh, I've been doing that and getting a lot of different kinds of parts. And I will continue to do that. Because uh, I got a lot of stuff that I have got to explore and have fun with, and just show myself that I can go to those places, you know. And um, and that's it. And I'll just hopefully continue to grow. Uh, knock knock. <laughs> Tiny fuck the stump. <laughs> How did that start? I mean, there's a, on the special feature of the DVD, it goes on for minutes and minutes. It's just, how did that start? It just, I don't know, it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's really stupid. Um, we were, Bill and Sherry and I were talking, and we were just on camera talking. And uh, we were talking about Tiny, and I called him a mush mouth motherfucker or something. And, um, and Bill said, well, at least he's stuck broke. And Sherry looked at me in all honesty and said, what's stump broke? And I said, well, before you get your first piece of ash, you got to practice on something. And he just never gave up the stump. And so and that's how that whole kind of like the stump started. Okay. Stupid. <laughs> Sid, not to rehash about the uh, dream sequence in Devil's Rejects, but I have to ask you, was there an ultimate like version um, because she broke her legs, was it like a different scene that they had to like, like make no, up? No, was that, that was no, that was that's what it was supposed to be. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. I threw in a few lines of dialogue that kind of made Rob go like that. <laughs> 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 that's what I do. Uh, no, it was always intended to be that way. I also like my position. Like, you know, <laughs> No, 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 no. It was always supposed to be that way. <laughs> I had the wild pony. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. I was going to say, first of all, I do want to thank you, Sid, because, I mean, you truly are an inspiration to me. I, I look to you, you're the candle that burns, because I, I'd studied acting when I was younger and filmmaking and put it on the shelf, and late in life, in my 40s, I decided to give it a shot. 
and I'd get I'd get down and depressed about it. But then I think like, look at look at you. I mean, look how you suddenly made it. You know, a big time action figures in your 60s. But uh, this isn't so much as a question, but you could comment on it. But I'm I'm truly grateful. Uh, I I I'm acting exclusively in non-union grindhouse horror, but I was doing a movie last year which was, let's say, strongly inspired by House of a Thousand Corpses, and reading the script, it was no secret the character they cast me was definitely strongly derived from Captain Spaulding, and I... I Rip off! Yeah, that, that, that's the word I don't want to use, but, but, I, but, but I, I've known Bill, and he gave me your email, and, and I wrote you and told you what I was doing. Now, many actors wouldn't have done this, but you sent me a three-page email back with tips and ideas and suggestions and caveats on how I could develop a character similar to Captain Spaulding, and, and, and I kept it with me, and your advice was terrific, and I was really touched. It's something that a lot of actors just wouldn't do. And, and I, my movie, I think, is going to look pretty good. I'm kind of proud of what I did, but I owe a lot to you. And it's like, uh, I'm wondering, you know, I mean, a lot of actors wouldn't do that. And here I'm doing a rip-off version of your picture. Can you tell me how I could do what you did? And, and, and yet you weren't, you weren't, it wasn't above you to tell me how to do it. And thanks. I told you all the wrong shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But, you know, I mean, you got to give it up. Come on. It's, you know, it's not rocket science. Um, anybody in this room can do what I did, you know. So, I, but I, I thank you for that. I just had a question about us. When you uh, got involved in Spider Baby, did you think that you were going to be in such an iconic film that people are talking about today? They re-released it just recently. I mean, did you think anything about that when you were getting involved with it? We were a bunch of kids just trying to make a movie, you know? Uh, had absolutely no idea that it would have a life of um, 41 years now. And like every five years, we get a whole new group of fans for that film. Um, we didn't know what the hell we were doing. We were just having fun, you know? Hey, look at the big dummy. Okay, yo. Yeah, oh, oh. um, the thing that was so funny is that I was trying to find Jack, and Jack was trying to find me, and we finally hooked up and he said, you know, I have this picture and you got to play this part and I have to have you come in and meet the producers, okay, and, and just show them, you know, what you can do. Any, for anybody that hasn't seen this film, the character of Ralph is on the decline, physically and mentally, okay? Pretty screwed up. Um, and so I went to the office and he just gave me an idea of some things to do and just kind of wound me up and let me go and by the end I was playing with my toes and sucking my thumb and doing all kinds of weird shit and, the, and the, so he said okay that's cool and I stopped and I looked at the producers and they had this look on their face like holy shit what did we just do what did we just do oh my god committed all this money to this film and this idiot is sucking his thumb <laughs> But you know, it turned out to be a pretty successful film, and yeah, it was so amazing to me to be able to work with Long Cheney Jr. Mm, yeah. I mean, he was a gentleman, he was uh, supportive, um, he was like my mentor, and all the hours that we spent waiting for all the setups and everything, we, he and I just sat and talked, and he did the talking, I did the listening. Um, <laughs> Because my dad imparted this piece of wisdom to me years before. Uh, he said, you know, you believe in God? And I said, yeah, I do. He said, why do you think he gave you two ears and one mouth? <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Yeah, so there you go. But Lon Chan was an amazing, amazing guy. Yeah. Say hi, Don. Okay. Good, buddy. Hey, listen, I know... Uh, I read somewhere that you had your own little acting company or an acting troupe where you did a lot of stuff with the stage. I'm just curious, are you still doing anything with your, your 